Hey guys, welcome back. We're now going to Fracture Hills, which is an alright level, I suppose. Mmm, <laughs> turn nice biscuit. It's good. Big bits, of course. Anyway, so in this level, we got fawns, potatoes, everyone's dancing, let's do music. But Rockman there isn't happy, so he gets his boulder and he chucks it at the stage. Oh my god, and he's turned to stone. Absolutely poneaged. Poneaged? Pwned. What am I about? Excuse me. <laughs> I sort of went for pwned and then I changed to the ponage. Oh, there, Mr. Dragon. Fail. Hmm, you're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish oh, I could thanks. take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Uh, earth shapers. <laughs> Sounds really like geographical. <laughs> oh, the bagpipe tunes. I love this. They play a little music once you free them. And whoop de doo. The whole thing blows to pieces. Not all of it. Bit, Thank little, you little chunks. For me. There are still some sages trapped in stone. I know, I know. I will rest him, don't worry. It's like a little side mission to get through the level that you have to find six satyrs who have got themselves trapped in stone, the idiots. And you've got to rescue them as Spyro always does. Happy to help. You can't even go on holiday if I have to save the world. Let's go let's, let's down the shops to get some uh Jam. Oh my god, I've been eaten by a monster. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just imagine going down the shop and people like, oh my god, there's a monster attacking everyone. I better save the world again. <laughs> oh my god, these little pinkies are amazing. They dance! <laughs> Look at dance! It's hilarious. And now I'm the famous ass. Yeah, it's a shame. It's fodder, so I need to, uh, uh, kill it for food. I'm in the mood for food. These are the lousy earth shapers who really get your nerves because you can't destroy yourself, you have to whack him into lava where they disintegrate into pieces of rock. Which surely is what they are anyway, so that shouldn't really matter. But anyway, of course, as like all these levels, all these sort of levels, you can get on the hills. It wouldn't be Spyro 2 if you couldn't defy the game and get on the hills. Right, do 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 do. Number three. Da, 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 da. I think you can rescue one of these guys from, like, up on the hills. You can rescue them in a variety of interesting ways if you want to. I'm just gonna rescue them. <laughs> Whether you do it interesting way or not, they're being rescued the same. They'll be grateful, whatever. It's not like the Spyro Dragon concept. We have to like peel the dragons. Here, you're freeing satyrs instead. <laughs> Number four. Oh, that was close. Almost didn't get on then. And I don't even know what I'm doing. Just making my way along. Ah! Absolute fail. Didn't even know that's four. That was quite pointless, to be honest. Um. Psh, psh, psh. Right. It's quite annoying at the moment. Sad actually, rather not annoying, sad rather. Because, um, I don't know, wait a second. Uh, can I get from here? I can indeed. It's great to be free. Now there is only one satyr left to rescue. That didn't take very long. Simples. Anyway, yeah, I'm quite sad at the moment because a good friend of mine is dying. I've known him for about. Uh, two years nearly. It's gonna be sad when it does go. But it, they do go. But I'll make the most of it while I can. It's my iPod. Slowly dying. Or well, how they give me the perfect excuse to upgrade it from a nano into an iPod Touch. Or rather, get an iPod Touch, not upgrade it. I'd like to upgrade my iPod, please, and I've got no health. I'm getting pwned today, bloody hell. I've bad. Oh, that's close. I love how they just like wave at you kind of when they like sink into the lava. It's like, bye bye. Yep, I got pwned, I'm accepting it. <laughs> that sort of thing. And those are annoying. Always quick so annoying. What is it if nature and wanted to attack Spyro? What's he ever done to them apart from playing more the cacti and that sort of thing? Who's this then? Who wants our help oh, this time? A dragon! Perhaps you can help. 
My no. friend is locked in this room and lost the key. And you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night. Oh yeah, tell me what you mean, darling. Nevertheless, she can't be asked. You lazy what's it, right? This is a super challenge. Super challenge? Supercharge challenge. Like you call it a super challenge if you want to. Basically you've got to go on the track and break open this building. Can you get on the hills here? Can you get on the spikes? Don't know if you can, but man. They're quite gothic, aren't they? Looking look quite sinister and evil. But yeah, let's get the um Avisator first, I think. And we shall get on with rescuing whatever's inside the fawn of a You should be able to glide to the island and claim it this at the same time. If I get it right. Oh no, fail! Ah, fail, fail, fail. Oh well. Now that you have Rescue all the of Thatcher Hills, you ought to go look at a temple, which is really boring. Just gonna play it to you straight. <laughs> anyway, this is the blue area, which is blue. And you can't kill any of the earth labels in it because you have to kill them later. But then you have to come back and learn to head. You have to go and learn to head bash, then come back to the area. Which is something that I find very annoying, really. I like that to go to the level and do all the things in one go. I know it adds a certain extra level of gameplay, play, play, gameplay, but still, I find it annoying. You have to do it in another level as well. Basically, you have to go and find money bags and learn to head bash for a ridiculously high price for something that's really easy and straightforward. Out of all the things you learn, it's rather annoying to be honest. What I'm doing there is I'm just moving some of the other ships out of the way because otherwise they might get caught in my epic charge, which starts now. Meow. Yep, this isn't too complex. I quite enjoy it as well, actually. I like supercharge. It feels like I don't know it's weird to game up. It adds a bit of difficulty. It's nice. Be careful here; could fall off. I have done before, once or twice when I was younger. Here we go. Just standing there playing for yo-yo. What is it? Oh, Fawns and yo-yos. You broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. Ever. Fancy orb in here. So fetch. Mean Girls. What an awesome film. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I love that film. <laughs> Just so silly. Lindsay Lohan, what a legend. Not. Anyway, I might as well get those gems that I missed in that little pathway here and the other. The red area, I suppose you could call it. Red and blue area, easy to find. Could call it Lava or the Hunter's area. But meh. Call it whatever you want. <laughs> I do not care in the slightest. You thought I was gonna make him get you there? No. Nothing gets Spyro. <laughs> These guys really do serve no purpose apart from to annoy you and smack you. You haven't got to kill them, but I do anyway because I'm violent and I feel the need to. The purpose is to kill them after all, after all, so. After all, after all. I said it twice. Man, I'm not in the speaking mood today, am I? But I'm in the gaming mood, I mean I've played this haven't I? I've recorded this part, I'm narrating it. So I'm gonna get back I need to get back into the cycle of making videos which I've sort of slipped out of after my big break. But it's annoying though. I will have to start advising for yet more exams soon. I have to juggle it out with videos. Oh, that's, that's not fair, is it? Not fair in the slightest. Oh that was close, I nearly pwned myself. Anyway, the skill point for this level is to go through the supercharge track three times without poning yourself. And hopefully I should be able to do it. And it goes number one. Do, do, do. I mean, it does sound like a fairly tricky challenge, but to be honest, it's not. You should be fine. Have confidence in yourself, for God's sake. Yeah, this can be a bit tricky here, but just have a good steering. Don't. We go left and think too much, then, but the slightest touch can make you go off the track. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. I always, I always get to hear that I think like I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall off. It's too small, but you will be alright. Number three. You have to go through the arches and it will count. Just the third one now. Near at the end. On. Hey! 
Fantastic. Whoa, that was a smack and a half. Did you see that? That was amazing.